Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adam. Today's Friday, which means it's another hashtag Friday Sews. So this week, I managed to get some stuff done. Um, I've not had the best week in terms of what has been going on in the sewing room. Um, I just wanted to quickly say, and if you don't want to hear this, you can skip forward a minute or so. Um, I just wanted to quickly come on here and say about Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, eBay, all of those selling platforms, basically. So last week I found a, it popped up on my Gumtree that someone was selling a Juki TL QVP. Um, I just wanted to sort of find out a bit more information, find out whether it was still available. I contacted this man that seemed legitimate, this, that and the other. End of story, basically wrapping it up a bit quicker so that you're not getting bored out of your brain. Um, the guy scammed me out of quite a lot of money. Um, I just want to say that if you find something, please don't pay for anything without using some sort of service that you can claim your money back. Because even though I done it through a goods and services platform, and the bank that the that the funds went to have actually agreed that their client actually scammed me. They've all agreed that I'm not going to get my money back. So lesson learned. It is what it is. But I just thought I'd put that out there. So if, as my bank said, if something seems too good to be true, then it probably is. So moving on from that, please be careful. Um, what have I made this week? Well, I have made some diaries for my shop which are for 2023 obviously because i'm not gonna move for this year because it's almost over um these are quilted diaries with all different types of tulip fabric so i've got one that's got they've all got um all of the covers for them go right inside the pages so that they don't slip off when you open them um, and these are A5 diaries and they are a day to view for 2023. So I made one, two, three, four and five. So they are, if anyone would like a 2023 Truly Pink diary, there's five of them. Um, I actually made six because I made myself one, but... This one is all mine, and the only reason it's all mine is because there's a defect on the corner of it. But I don't care. I absolutely love it. Um, and this one is the Tiny Beasts inside, um, which is a fabric that turned up this week because it was the only one of the collection that I didn't have. Um, so those are the diaries. I also made the feet. Well, I've actually made the whole body, but they're all. Oh, I just need to assemble it. So I made some little feet to go on one of the art tells that I've been commissioned for. Um, so the body's finished, the feet are finished. I'm just about to start assembling the actual parts together. Um, and then it's outfit time and it can be shipped, um, which I should hopefully get done over the weekend. Um, and this is the little face for it. This is a rat terrier. Um, I was approached by a lovely lady on Instagram that follows me on YouTube and on Instagram and she asked me if I would make one for her and of course I can't help myself. I love making these and they are adorable. Um, so this one's got like little over lips. It's got the um, sculpted nose and I'm just finishing up the back of the head and then that one is done. Um, so that is something that I'm working on this week because I want to get that shipped midweek latest so that it's got time to get to where it's going. Um, I also made the EPPIC case, which is the Epic case, I believe, um, which is a Chasing Tigers pattern. Um, it is this pattern here by Sally Davis, but her company is called Chasing Tigers, which is what it is on Instagram. Um, her website is chasingtigers.net and it is at chasing.tigers on Instagram if you're interested in making this. Um, it is a really, really good pattern. It's got lots of different variations that you can do with the pockets inside it. I made it in Parisville Deja Vu um, and I used my webbing that I have on a big roll for the handle. 
Um, so it is the whole collection bar one fabric. Um, so it has a zip that is actually an open-ended zip. So you unzip it, the side actually releases from the zip, he says. This is a really annoying zip. There we go. Um, and then you have your EPP case. So this thread, this elastic here with the button that actually holds a spool of thread so you can actually unravel it without taking it out and losing it. Then you've got a little pocket here for some snips. Two little pockets here for a glue basting pen and a marking pen. There's another pocket here. This pocket here is actually, it's got batting in it so you can actually use it as a pin cushion. These two little pockets have cam snaps on them so they keep closed. These are vinyl pockets. It has a cam snap here, which actually releases this flap here with more pockets. And then this here is one great big vinyl pocket that actually has expanding parts to it. So it'll actually come away slightly so you can fit all of your um, hexes and everything or whatever you're working on in there. So your actual work in progress um, sort of blocks as such can go in there. Um, so that is finished. I did struggle with a few bits of that purely because I couldn't get my head around the instructions on a few bits of it. But it did all come together eventually. Um, and I'm really happy with the finished product. I will probably keep this for myself because I don't have anywhere to store my English paper piece in. Um, and I can't get that done up for a minute. So I'm going to leave that to one side because it will drive me nuts if I keep on playing with it. Um... Happy Mail this week. I did get some Happy Mail this week and it was from the gorgeous So Carol. Um, and I did not expect this at all. So as I was saying, I got Happy Mail this week and it's from Carol from So Carol. She wrapped it absolutely beautifully um, and she put a little sticker on there saying, thank you for everything you've done for me, love Carol, which I think is just the sweetest thing ever. I did not expect her to get me anything. I don't ever expect anything from anyone. Um, and the fact that this turned up towards the end of the week when I was feeling a little bit like I had enough for everything that week was a really, really nice treat. And she got me some of the new Tiny Stripes from Chula. So there's two pieces there. I'm not sure, I haven't, let's unwrap them, shall we? <laughs> Find out. I think they are, I don't know if they're metres or half metres. There's a lot there though. Oh, they are metres. Oh, Carol, you are naughty woman. Um, These I love because they make the most epic bindings on things. This is not a Tula stripe, but it is a stripe that went with the Deja Vu, which is why I used it. But the stripe bindings, as you all know, <laughs> let me take my slipper off, are my favourite thing. I really need to make a new pair of these because they are absolutely hammered where I live in them, basically. And Luna now has seen it and wants to eat it. Um, so that is that. I am also going to put it out there. I am debating whether to do Vlogmas this year. I think I probably will, mainly because it will give me the chance to actually shout about how amazing the um, different things are in the First Fabrics Advent Calendar as I open them because I think... There's not going to be many people in this household that are going to get as excited as me about opening those sorts of things. So I might do Vlogmas, even if it is just going to be a case of opening those each day. Um, and I was talking to Stephanie from Stephanie's Stitches. Um, and she was saying that she's going to be doing it this year because she's got a couple of different advent calendars and stuff like that. Um, and I think I might give it a go. I'm not promising that I am going to be able to um, sort of keep up with it for the whole month because things get in the way and I, I'm not going to promise that because I don't know that I am going to be able to film, edit and upload every single day of the month. But I will give it my best shot. And I think that's it really for this week. There's not really much that's happened besides that. I can't really see anything else that I feel the need to show. No. I think that's it pretty much. I have got a tapestry here actually, which is not mine. I didn't make it, but I do want to show it to you. So this is one of my neighbours. She is moving soon and she's recently done some tapestry. She's done one that was William Morris, um, which was a tapestry of the Strawberry Thief, which I turned into a cushion for her because she asked me to. 
So what I actually did was use a lightweight fusible on the back of the tapestry just to fuse all of the loose threads. Um, and then I put a border on it with the sort of canvasy fabric that you use for uh, Panama fabric. It's like a canvas sort of type fabric that you use for cushions and you can get a lot of printed panels on it as well. So I used the Panama fabric um, to make a sort of like three inch border around the tapestry and then I made a backing for it with buttonholes. Um, and this is the second one that she has given me. This one she done completely freehand, no pattern whatsoever, um, because she had a load of threads left over from the other ones that she done and just incredible. So this one again, I will fuse the back of it to um, stabilise all of those loose threads and then I'm going to turn it into another cushion for her. This one's quite big though, so I think I'm going to have to put a smaller border on this, otherwise it's going to be a lot bigger than the other cushion um, because she wants them both on her sofa. And that is that really. Have a great weekend. Don't forget that next Wednesday, I believe, is the last day of the gift of November. Me and Alison are going to be, oh, sorry, Alison and I, I should have put that correct because I can speak English. Um, Alison and I will be going through all of those entries throughout next weekend. Um, we will try and get through them as quick as possible and start allocating prizes and go over what's going on with that. Um, if you haven't seen Alison's channel, I will link it below. She's just put her Friday shows out, which I was watching while I was eating my breakfast. Um, and I will see you all very soon.